Jalen, to start, can you just kind of sum up what this playoff experience has been like, both with the group and just personally getting to, you know, really make your mark on, on such a deep run? Yeah, um, it's been great. Uh, it was a great learning experience. Um, it was really fun. I think that's the best part about it. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun proving people wrong. Uh, everyone in that locker room believed, and um, but we just... That's all that really mattered for to us, and uh, we just kept believing in each other and um, kept winning, kept just going as far as we could. And um, it was great. I took hats off to them. They played great, but um, this team is something special. Yeah, Jalen, you guys were 16 and 18 uh, in, in late December. And could you just talk about that particular journey and what does this mean for the city and for this franchise for you guys to get to the Western Conference Finals? Um. Yeah, it was the, the turning point, and now uh, when uh, we kind of had that um, the little COVID roulette when guys are going in and out. But um, uh, we just we just kept believing, and we just kept going. We kept f focusing on one game at a time. Uh, it's getting better every day, and um, it put us in a position to be here. And so um, every step of the way mattered for us, and uh, we kept getting better, kept believing in each other, and. Um, just kept fighting until the end. What did you guys learn from this journey? I know you were down 3-2 against Phoenix and won a game seven there. And what did, just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we learned um, We learned a lot. We learned uh, what it takes to get to this point, and, uh, and we also learned what it takes to go further. And um, we, got, we still uh, have a lot to do, have a lot to learn, but um, to get to this point was, uh, was great for us, but uh, we still have a lot of uh, things to get better at, including myself. Um, there's a lot of things I can get better at, but um, uh, just to get to this point has been great. Dorian was just up there, and he said that early in the season he was reflecting on how you were really helpful to him in terms of just kind of taking things one day at a time in a contract year, and you guys were able to bond over that. What do you, I guess, can you kind of take us through what that was like for both of you and then <laughs> for you down the stretch too, just of, of – how you've been able to compartmentalize things and how you've been able to keep the focus on the present as you've gone on. Yeah. Um, one thing I just kept telling uh, Doe is that no matter what the situation is, it's, it's only up from here. Um, that was something that we kept telling each other. Um, just trying not to focus on it. It's, it's kind of hard not to, but just focus on one day at a time, focus on what you can get better at, focus on how you can help the team. And, uh, we were just talking to each other about that all the time. And, um, uh, I'm really proud of him. Uh, he's put himself in a position to help out his family. So um, it's great for him, and I'm, I'm really happy for him. And, um, yeah, we, d we did bond over that, and uh, it's something that I won't take for granted. And he was just up here, too, and said, you're about to get the bag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how do you digest? How do you kind of uh, – I guess what's the process of, of turning from this season looking ahead for you, and when do you kind of expect – um, you to yourself to finally allow yourself to focus on on what's next and what this free agency looks like. Um, when it's time, it's time. Um, for me, I'm just uh, I, I, when it happens, it happens. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not worried about it right now. I'm um, I'm just honestly at this point how I feel. I just I'm really happy that uh, I got to play with these guys and um, the things that we did this year and. Um, that's all I'm really focused on right now and thinking about. Uh, I'll think about that later. Yeah, sorry, I had to ask. Do, do, hold on. <laughs> I got one more. <laughs> I was going to ask you about game two. Do you look back on that? You were up 19. How much different the series could have been had you held on to that lead? Uh, yeah, very different. 1-1 um, one, one going home. Uh, it's, uh, it's different. Um, it's different for them. Uh, it's different for us. It's just probably would have put ourselves in a better position than being down 2 0 than 3 0. So, um, could have changed. Okay, we've got time for a couple on Zoom. Eddie Sefko.
Yeah, I, I think the best about this team is that we didn't even really care or focus on what other people said about us, good or bad. Um, we believed in each other in that locker room, um, and that's all that really mattered to us. And um, I think we embraced the fact that like some sometimes either people talked bad about us or didn't talk about us at all, and we just didn't really focus on it. And then we focused on us and focused on what we could do to put ourselves in the best position, and uh, we continued to do that the entire year. Okay, and last one, Kevin Gray. Yeah, um, I mean, 16 to 18 at one point. Um, we, uh, I think after January 1st, we had one of the better records, but um, we just kept getting better every single day. Um, no one really talked about, I mean, the long-term goal of winning a championship was, it was talked about, but I mean, it wasn't talked about every day. We just talked about how can we improve t today, how can we improve tomorrow, and then the next day, and then the next day, and then we'll see where that gets us. And um, we believed in it, and we, we believed in each other, and um, it got us to this point. But uh, I think really we can, um, we can really see where we can get better at, where we can go moving forward. All right. Thanks, Jalen. Yep.